Tuesday morning, and governors and officials from the national government embarked on the quarterly intergovernmental budget and economic council meeting chaired by Deputy President William Ruto at his current office. During the meeting, it was resolved that counties would receive 316.5 billion shillings in the next financial year. The resolution reached in the meeting that brought together the Council of Governors, Commission of Revenue Allocation, the Ministry of Finance and the Control of Budget and attributed to depressed revenue collection in the country. CRA boss Jane Kiringei, further explaining next financial year's division of revenue was taking place in constrained fiscal framework owing to high debt repayment and rising wage bill. The figure is equivalent to that of 2019-2020, which was reached out by Parliament after a three-month standoff between both houses, where members of Parliament insisted on 316 billion shillings, while senators stuck with 335 billion shillings, plunging counties into a cash crisis during the period. The recent standoff between the governors and the control of budget also featured in this meeting with the control of budget dismissing claims that she is out to deny cash to counties by issuing a new directive for counties to provide payment records of their staff and suppliers. The post levels of government on this particular issue before we say that we get a cut because we have been underfunded and that's why we have been struggling. These, as governors decried what they termed as unnecessary bureaucracy in release of funds to the counties, which has adversely affected service delivery while compounding challenges in clearing pending bills. You, are, you seem to be making revenues which are not related to the overarching position that the economy is growing. And as the national government, through the Ministry of Finance and the Deputy President, called upon counties to match their budgets to the country's revenue, a meeting has now been scheduled between COG and the Control of Budget to resolve the stalemate on the release of funds after one slated Monday failed to take off. The pain that we are going through will be short term, but it will be realistic. Rather than us now carrying forward huge pain debates from national government or even from the counties, we rather have a disciplined fiscal uh, space. Even when we have issues, there should be separated matters to do with staff and their salaries so that they are not caught up in all this. Meanwhile, a summit is scheduled to take place at State House this Friday with President Uhuru Kenyatta expected to chair the meeting that will bring together county chiefs from across the country. Rose Gakuo, K24. Evening edition.